dear viewers and welcome to a new edition of our program Africa today uh, Minister of Foreign Affairs Badr Abdel Ati stressed each of the keenness to enhance economic integration in Africa and also he underlined the importance of strengthening joint action to develop the trade and investment ties between Egypt and Africa to shed more light on the issue we are very much delighted to be joined with the Conta and Dr. Saad Chalabi former assistant foreign minister Dr. Noon to you and Dr. Chalabi good afternoon Ambassador Shalabi, Minister of Foreign Affairs, Badr Abdel Ati, stressed Egypt's keenness to enhance economic uh, integration with Africa. Uh, how do you read the, this? Um, well, is, um, the Egyptian Minister of Foreign Affairs and Integration and the Egyptian expatriate, Badr Abdel Ati, as you know, was uh, visiting uh, the Democratic Republic of Congo. And he did yeah. consultations with, uh, uh, with the Congolese uh, um, uh, Minister and Trade Investment mm -hmm. Minister of Foreign Affairs to boost the bilateralization and mm -hmm. to boost the uh, uh, mutual relations between the two countries. And so this is one of the factors that he has been doing since he uh, took office yeah. in order enhance the relationship in uh, Egypt and the other countries in order to benefit from Egyptian aid, Egyptian technical cooperation, or capacity building uh, mm -hmm. that are provided by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs or the Center for Conflict Resolution and Peacekeeping. Mm -hmm. So Egypt has been always offering um, its expertise to ask um, his uh, technical cooperation or uh, humanitarian or the uh, mm. conflict uh, resolution system. Mm. Uh, Ambassador Shalabi, the foreign minister, also underlined the importance of strengthening uh, the joint action to develop the trade and investment between Egypt and uh, Africa. Uh, can you uh, tell us your take about this? Uh, yes, so, um, has been very active in the African the different continents of the area and also in the Africa. Um, the past two years, uh, we have been uh, mm -hmm. focusing on the importance of economic integration in Africa. Uh, it has been promoting the, and enhanced prosperity and trade relations between uh, Egypt and all the other mm -hmm. countries who have been um, uh, changing uh, bilateral uh, multilateral relations with Egypt. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, um, as you know, uh, promoting um, but economic really integration is helping enhancing peace and security. Yeah. So the uh, Egyptian uh, Minister of Finance has been focusing on activating uh, mm. economic and education in Egypt and Africa. Mm -hmm. Ambassador Shalabi, how do you view Egypt's leading role in the African continent on the different levels, not only on the economic and investment levels? Um, Egypt has been either all the, whether it is uh, for uh, uh, peace and security or for uh, economic integration. So uh, there's been um, a lot of process uh, mm -hmm. for Farm with six African countries that has mm. a lot of uh, focus on food security and for climate issues, for sustainable in productivity and agriculture production. Uh, then uh, focus also on uh, uh, the region change for change for industrial production. Mm. Uh, that will be uh, the institutional capacity mm. to promote the adoption of more integrated and cross sectorial practices that has been taken considerate any African countries, Uganda, Congo, Togo, mm. uh, then are 
Shalabi, former assistant foreign minister, thank you so much for your precious input. Always a pleasure to have you with us. Thank you so much. And our dear viewers, Minister of Foreign Affairs, Immigration and Egyptian Expatriate Affairs, Badr Abdel Ati, stressed Egypt's keenness to enhance economic integration with the African countries, notably the Democratic Republic of Congo, within the directors of President Abdel Fattah Sisi, to foster regional cooperation with the different African states. More details on the following story. Minister of Foreign Affairs Badr Abdel Ati stressed Egypt's keenness to enhance economic integration with African countries, notably the Democratic Republic of Congo, within the directives of President Abdel Fattah Sisi to foster regional cooperation with African states. Abdel Ati's remarks came during his meeting with Congolese Minister of Industry and the Development of Small and Medium Sized Enterprises. Watum, as part of his official visit to Kinshasa, the foreign minister underlined the importance of strengthening joint action to develop trade and investment ties between Egypt and the DR Congo. The top diplomat called for elevating economic ties between the two countries through supporting the private sector and small and medium-sized enterprises, which serve as a basic driver of economic and social development. The pair discussed the possibility of establishing Egyptian factories in the DRC to localize manufacture of a number of Egyptian products, especially in the fields of medicines, food industries, and agricultural industry. Abdel Aouti expressed Egypt's willingness to provide technical support and training in the areas of industry and entrepreneurship for the DRC. He also highlighted the key role that could be played by the Egyptian Expert and Investment Guarantee Agency in encouraging Egyptian SMEs to enter the Congolese market. On his part, the Congolese industry minister commended Egypt's leading part in backing the development process in Africa, expressing its aspiration to expand the partnership with Egypt, especially in the fields of manufacturing and agricultural industries, in a way that contributes to advancing sustainable development in the DRC. The Moscow City Governor Department of Foreign Economic and International Relations has scheduled a series of business and humanitarian events as part of its visit to Cairo and Alexandria from the 23rd till the 26th of November to reinforce the Russian-Egyptian bilateral relations. The Moscow City Government Department of Foreign Economic and International Relations has scheduled a series of business and humanitarian events as part of its visit to Cairo and Alexandria from the 20th to 26th of November to reinforce Russian-Egyptian bilateral ties. The business agenda program will combine commercial, cultural and humanitarian activities to develop bilateral cooperation and review the recent achievements of the Russian capital Moscow. Sergei Cherimon, Minister of the Head of the Department of Foreign Economic and International Relations of Moscow City, said that the visit comes within the framework of strengthening friendly relations with Moscow's partners in the Middle East and North Africa, especially strengthening Russian-Egyptian ties in the current geopolitical context and strengthening the political of trade and economic cooperation between the two countries. He added that the series of events during his visit to Cairo and Alexandria is important for demonstrating the potential to the Russian capital Moscow and creating new opportunities for partnership with Egypt. The program also aims to develop a dialogue between the two countries, support commercial and humanitarian contacts, developing cultural exchange and enhancing cooperation in the education, political, social and architectural sectors. He pointed out that the business agenda 
was scheduled to begin on the 24th of November with a conference on bilateral cooperation between Hittites with the BRICS group. The conference will bring together representatives of government authorities, the business sector, and experts in Egypt and Moscow. The main focus will be the social development, education, agriculture, and cultural representatives of the government and industrial sectors will attend a conference and a roundtable on bilateral cooperation dedicated to sustainable development and the exchange of expertise in key areas in addition to a memorandum of understanding between Moscow and Cairo and it will be signed within the cultural program. There will be a charity show of Santa Claus, a photo exhibition of state corporation projects and Russia's nuclear cities and presentation of Moscow's father Frost State to the residents of Al Dabha. Our dear viewers, we leave you and we wrap up our program for today with this report where Egypt hosted the African chapter of the International Association of Refugees and Migration Judges Conference supported by the UNHCR, the UN Refugee Agency from the 17th till the 21st of November in Sharm el -Sheikh. And that uh, would wrap up our program. So stay with this uh, report and thank you for watching. Egypt hosted the African chapter of the International Association of Refugee and Migration Judges Conference supported by UNHCR and the UN Refugee Agency. The uh, conference brings together judges and legal experts from across the African continent to enhance regional dialogue and promote international and regional refugee law standards, discussing topics on refugee protection, solutions, mixed movements, trafficking and asylum seekers among others. Participants including delegations from 22 countries and a high-level delegation from the Egyptian government representing the ministers of foreign affairs and Egyptian expats, minister of justice and interior reflecting the Egypt's commitment to advancing the legal and institutional framework for refugee protection. This commitment was further demonstrated by the parliament's approval of the asylum law which establishes a normative framework for a domestic asylum system on the first day of the conference. Mr. Hossein Hisham Sadiq, Deputy Minister of Justice for International Cooperation, delivered the keynote speech underscoring the government's dedication for refugee protection, while Ambassador Dr. Way El Badawi, Deputy Assistant Minister for Foreign Affairs for Refugees, Migration and Combating Human Trafficking at the Egyptian Ministry of Foreign Affairs, delivered the opening remarks. The timing of the conference in Sharm Sheikh is particularly significant as it coincides with the ongoing conflict in Sudan which has led to the displacement of more than 11 million people affecting Sudan and its neighboring countries.